update on uh, teamwork integrity and quality that goes on at the uh, immigration office there we go teamwork and whatever integrity and quality okay so the last time i was here last couple of times after i bought the truck and the two motorcycles to get the uh, certificate of residency so i can get them in my name i came in through this side door so even though it said staff only this is the way you came up now you see it says closed go around front because of the third wave of COVID. They're forcing everybody through the funnel point. This little heart or the green heart I've got means I went through the check, the scan, whatever, and uh, check the temperature and all that stuff. So this is the main office and you just walk in through the front door and through that door and up the stairs now. That's the only change. These are the main windows for people you know coming to do regular immigration stuff like 90 day report uh, breathe breathe so main entrance coming back out and uh still 500 baht for expedited service what's changed because i've told you many many times Thai people love money what's changed is uh the uh free you can actually get this certificate residency for free and before it was if you were willing to wait 30 days and i didn't want to wait 30 days for the truck or the bike even though hell with the truck i think it took more than 30 days <laughs> even with the residency certificate it took 30 days inside the their version of the dmv here at land transport office so now it's 60 days because of holidays is what she says. She's an adorable lady. She's very sweet, very nice lady. I have no problem with her. She's just an employee, but you know, the system, it's, it's really. So on the advice of my visa lady, I came to get the certificate. Remember the, the whole point of getting this yellow book, which shows that I own property here in Thailand is that when I do buy bikes and cars, I don't have to come here and, and pay the 500 baht, you know, make two trips. Because even when you pay the 500 baht, that's one day expedited service. You still got to come back the next day. So you're talking two trips and 500 baht per car or per bike. If I go buy 10 bikes, I need 10 of these stupid certificates, you know. It's 5,000 baht and two days each <laughs> if I don't get them all done at the same time. So... By the way, the, the tip, the insider pro tip, is you park across the street at an old spa that's gone out of business. Big, big ass place. It looks like it was tits back in the day. The Pinman Tip Luxury Spa. You see, it's a big old building with all kinds of statues. I mean, it was, it must have been something back in the day. And you pay the nice lady 20 baht. It's already got... You pay the nice lady 20 baht and she lets you park here, which is a lot bigger space than the parking over in immigration. Immigration has a lot, you know, one fourth of this size. So it's much easier just to park over here. 20 baht, you know, I'm, I'm cool with 66 cents to park. And uh, so once again, this all started with the yellow book with the idea of getting the yellow book precluding me needing these residency certificate which is what i'm doing today so once again my visa lady calls me and says hey the guy giving you the yellow book wants a certificate of residence now i have them for where i rent the condo ping but now i need one for the condo that i rent out right the investment condo that's for the one i own i don't own where where i live where i rent and um so i needed a new one that said that address, right? So I come here and she says, well, you need a new TM30. TM30 is a report that every 90 days you report to the Thai government as a foreigner and say, I'm here. <laughs> kind of stupid, but that's their rules. They like to keep track of Farang because not, not all of them are as good as wholesome, good and wholesome as you and me, right? So I needed to go to get TM30, which fortunately was in the building. 
It was or out, just outside the building. It was here. It was at this location to get the TM30. So that wasn't that much of a pain in the ass. But it's just, you know, talking about the Thai government and immigration. It's just, okay, to get the yellow book in order to buy cars and trucks more hassle-free, you need a, a latest certificate of residence with the same address for the yellow book. Okay, to get the certificate, you need a TM30. Okay, so it just, you know... And it was free, which actually surprised me to get the TM30. didn't cost any money because that was what I was expecting because they are very focused on money here. That whole scarcity thing we talked about is very real here. But I guess they're just happy knowing that by giving me the TM30, they're getting the 500 baht for the expedited because, you know, the hell would I wait 60 days, two months for to get a, T a certificate residence? That's That's crazy. The faster I get the yellow book, the better. So, of course, I paid the 500 baht. You know, it's not even a question. Yeah, you know, dude, it's 15 bucks. I'm, I've been here a year, but I still do think somewhat in terms of, of U.S. dollars. And when you look at 15 bucks for the convenience of getting it the next day, it's a no-brainer. But when you live here for a while, you'll understand that when people charge, you know, 500 baht or 1,000 baht for administrative stuff, it pisses you off because you know how far that 1,000 baht goes. So that's the update on the residency certificate. If you live in Chiang Mai or if you move to Chiang Mai for now because of COVID or maybe permanently you go into the front, they want everybody to do the scan. They missed you with some kind of decontamination shit, which I'm glad I'm only coming here twice because I don't want to walk through a fog of frigging chemicals. Um, so you go through all that bullshit just to get a piece of paper. But the piece of paper gets me the book and the book makes my life a lot easier for the rest of the time I'm here. So to me, worth doing. A yellow book, once again, that's what Farang have. Thai citizens have a different color book. I forget if it's blue or green um, that shows that they own property. But for Farang, it's a yellow book. And that simply says this guy owns property, a condo, uh, in Thailand. And once again, that greases the wheels every time I had to deal with the government for anything. So I'm doing it. And that's uh, seven grand, 7,000 baht. So what, 200 bucks? You know, once again, it's, I think in terms of U.S., it's no big deal. So that's the update.